Hello, everyone. So did you enjoy lunch? Yes. yes. So uh, uh, thank you for coming to this event. I'm very happy to be here. So uh, from uh, about, about you know, 40 minutes, I'd like to spend the time to share uh, the thing of community marketing. So uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Hideki Ojima. I'm working on several companies, uh, including Stripe. So how many people know the Stripe? OK, how many people are using Stripe? OK, we need to do more. <laughs> <laughs> so also working for Abuja and uh, Nurao. Maybe you know, uh, Backlog is a very, very well-known services from Nurao. Of course, uh, you know, uh, these you know, companies running on AWS. So because I'm working, uh, for, I was working for AWS seven years as a head of uh, marketing, and I was the first employee of AWS. Okay? And uh, this is a history of my uh, community experience. So first experience is Adobe, so Flex user group. So Flex uh, was a, you know, a framework for the you know, uh, flash technology for enterprise. And uh, uh, Flex user group in Japan is one of the you know, uh, biggest uh, user community in the world, the Adobe. So and, uh, Joe's, so how many people know the Joe's? Well, it's a home ground. <laughs> And you know how many people uh, have experience, uh, you know, join Joe's meetup? Okay, look it. So uh, actually, I was uh, doing a lot of you know, marketing activity in the AWS, but you know, uh, this community marketing is one of the you know, unique approach to the market. And the reason why I'm here, and I'd like to share the you know, uh, experience from the Joe's. Of course, I'm still uh, working uh, for the building the community. For the Stripe, we have a JP Stripe, so Stripe user community, and you know, community marketing community. Uh, it's you know, people, uh, the community for the people who do like to run and do the community marketing. After the, this session, if you'd like to join the community, you can find this uh, from Facebook and Twitter. And also, I'm supporting uh, you know, Abeja community activities and the new level, so uh, community activities. So, how many people have a you know, smartphone and you know, laptops? You have a connected? Okay, you can treat. <laughs> you can treat, you can treat, okay? So, uh, because, so you guys are the very important part of my you know, content. So please, during uh, this session, uh, give me your feedback. And this will be a content of the session. Of course, uh, some of the people would like to see the you know, translation system in the you know, PC. No, don't worry, my English is very easy. You don't need you know, such kind of translation system. And uh, let's practice. So do something, do type something with this hashtag. I'm checking. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm serious. <laughs> so how many, uh, just three? Come. This is very important step uh, to create a content with community. So if you like to do such kind of meetup, this style works well. But before that, you know you understand this process, please tweet, okay? <laughs> okay. And uh, during the you know, session, uh, please give me any feedback, con you know, what questions. I like to you know uh, reply the answer to any question or you know feedback from you guys. Okay, today you can run from this session, so sell through the community. If you have some you know, idea or services or brand, uh, which want, you want to you know, uh, promote, the community will be a good marketing vehicle. And uh, I'd like to share the three first principles for community design, and also three steps uh, to uh, grow the community. The based on actual experience of Joe's UZ. So this is a true story. And today's theme is community marketing. How many people are familiar with marketing? I know you guys are familiar with community, but how many people are familiar with marketing? So marketing is very important, uh, not only marketer, but also every person who would like to you know, uh, promote your idea. You are, you know, perfect. 
So you can find a lot of even definition uh, from website. Sometimes it's very confused. But don't worry, it's very simple. So this is a key element of marketing. You just care about who, what, how. Who is your target customer prospect? What is your you know, offering? Then you can start considering how to, you know, how to uh, promote this idea. So don't start without who and what. Sometimes people would like to start with SEO or advertising or community, but without who or what, it will not make success. It will fail. Okay. The community, uh, the who and what is very important. And the community is very good uh, way to find who and what. So the reason why I'm, you know, uh, I'd like to share this community marketing idea because it helps you uh, to find who and what. This is actual uh, performance from you know, this community marketing. Last year, uh, actually, uh, this community launched uh, 2010, almost eight years ago. Uh, I was a part of you know, uh, first founder of this community from you know, uh, Amazon side. And last year, so they have over 50 subsidiaries. It's not only you know regional one, but also you know uh, contextual one. So George uh, UG for AI or George UG for IoT, such kind of things. And they had actually 260 meetups a year. Almost uh, every day they have some uh, meetup. It means uh, without AWS guys, so customer talk about AWS, customer generate contents about AWS every day. It's very good marketing. Power. And uh, total attendees around you know, uh, 10,000. And not only each meetups, but also if they have some annual meetup, they have over 2,000 you know, uh, attendees. It's a quite huge event. And this event organized by 100% by users. AWS just you know, uh, prepares a venue like this, and every content and every speaker uh, selected by uh, customers. So very powerful uh, you know, event, and uh, it makes business good. OK, so this is the result. Uh, of course, uh, AWS has a good you know, uh, future, and the you know, product is good. But without such kind of you know, customer voice and marketing activity, Maybe you know AWS didn't teach such kind of uh, position. This is a uh, Japan market, but you know uh, you can see that almost you know uh, forty percent of you know uh, enterprise user using AWS. It's a good result, and not only AWS, but also other company is following this you know community marketing activities, including Cybos. So Kington Cafe actually designed based on George UG architecture because I had a session uh, with you know, a Cybos guys before they launched this you know, uh, Kinto Cafe. So it's the same in the context. And not only B2B, but also B2C. And you know, a lot of startups in Japan is following these activities. I mean, the so community marketing movement is very, you know, getting popular in Japan recently. And uh, finally, manganized. This is me. Yoshimira? <laughs> so you can find this manga uh, you know, uh, from uh, Impress site. So the manga framework is very easy to explain the, you know, uh, such kind of concept. So if you can read uh, Japanese, you just read this manga. It's OK. Uh, it covers almost all my session today. But uh, I think we have some you know, English speaker who can read Japanese. Reason why I'm speaking here uh, for you know, uh, explaining this uh, community marketing things. So, how many people would you like to build your community like you know, Joe's or you know, Kinton Cafe? So, you'd like to bigger and bigger? Not so many. So, what purpose for your uh, community? <laughs> Maybe Japanese is very shy, so uh, you can't raise up your know, hand. But if you have some idea, well, you know, services, 
you would like to you know, expand this message and you'd like to expand the users, you'd like to expand the you know, followers. Okay? In this case, this framework is work. So what is a community marketing? What is a community marketing? It's a uh, good way to drive the marketing with efficient and scalable and frugal. Frugal is very important. So efficiency. This is a legacy mass marketing ideas. You have a lot of even customer like a bowling pin, but you so very difficult to find who is a real customer. So you need a lot of balls. It means a budget or campaigns or sales person. If you have a much a uh, lot of you know budget, it's okay. But to me, it's not good. It's not smart way. I recommend such kind of approach. If you find the first pin, only one ball, you can turn all pins. It means find the first pin is very important things. And I mean that your community will be a first pin for your market. If your community will not be a first pin of the market, Maybe your selection is wrong. From you know uh, marketing funnel, so this is traditional marketing funnel: marketing accepted lead, qualified lead, uh, sales qualified lead, POC, MRR, and you know growth. Each step by step, you are losing the opportunity. This is traditional marketing funnel. The reason why a lot of people would like to run the campaign to get a lot of you know, input for the funnel. But uh, definitely you will lose a lot of opportunities through the panel. But if you have some you know, a good customer, I call this customer fun. This fun acquire new customers. New customer acquires fun. It's very scalable. Totally different concept. Of course, you need to have some fast pins, but if you find this fast pin, your marketing funnel is scalable. Frugal. So because you can't purchase the community, you need to build a community without you know money. You need to spend the time. You need to hire you know uh, talented community manager or marketer. But uh, without a lot of budget, you can create such kind of community. And I think uh, all of you guys have some good you know, uh, talent for right, managing such kind of community because you have a good skill how to manage a community. So the, it means uh, community is a customer acquire new customers through the community. This is a concept. It means what type, you know, you need to care about what time, what type of community you need to build, you should build. It's not good. So boring, uh, not fun, is not good for the community. How about this? Do, do, do you like pizza? Do you like beer? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but just fun community also not good. <laughs> Your community is not for the beer and pizza. Of course, I love the beer, but it's just enough you know, flavor. It's not the context. Okay, so how to grow the community for your community marketing? How many people see this TED video? Not so many? Okay, I'd like to share. So this is a video from TED. And uh, this video talking about how to make a social movement so you can see the story, that video. Sorry, uh, sounds not, and you know, it's small. But you can see some, you know, strange guy is dancing. Can you see? Dancing. These people is a, will be a committee leader, but you know, without any followers, he's just a you know, strange man. And uh, some, you know, follower, 
come here and you know, follow his you know, act, dancing. And also, he asked other guys, come on, join us. It's very important things. Don't underestimate these first followers. So follower makes leader. Okay, with that follower, the dancing man, just a strange man. With follower, he, you know, became readers. And you know, any lot of people see this, you know, movement, and you know, it seems oh, something happened. So people's coming, people's coming, ah, people's coming. Lot of people's coming. So uh, like this, your community should be same, you know, uh, have the same approach. If you'd like to expand the community, it's okay. And you can find this, you know, video uh, in your uh, PC. Uh, please see after the you know, session. Sorry. Sometimes scan March screen is very difficult to do the presentation. Okay. So uh, how to make such kind of you know community like a movement? It's a like a campfire. You need to find some you know good person as an ignition point. It means it's a very you know enthusiastic fun for your you know, company or services or product. Then you need to gather followers like this, make a fire. Then open the you know, uh, community to wannabes. So wannabes mean this. So you have such kind of you know, uh, three types of you know, audience in your community. Some people is a uh, kind of role model, it's an ignition point. Some people is just followers, and a lot of people wannabes. You can see the ratio, about just 5% of your community is a role model. They are enthusiastic fun for your services and also uh, good you know, uh, content generator. So these followers are very important. They make the role model as a reader. And uh, uh, they can follow the content and they can follow the same you know, activities. Once you gather such kind of first pin guys, then you can open uh, the committee for the wannabes. Some people fail to build the community because uh, at the first meetup, you open the community to these guys. These guys will come later if they find, oh, this fire is burning. They like to jump, jump in. Don't care about these guys as a first step. Of course, these guys are very important to grow the, your community. But as a first step, you need to find role models and followers, first of being guides. That's the important things. And first, uh, you know, uh, this three first principles very important to creating your, you know, first pins. So context, output, and you know, offline. So context is very important, as I explained. So beyond pizza, it's not context. So context should be Maybe you know uh, the, the power of cloud. Maybe you know power of open source. Such kind of context very important to create your community. Without you know context, your con your meetup will be you know, just a beer bash. It's not a good thing. Output. It's very important. Output brings input. Output. You know it means a performing is very important to you know, bring input. You can see the video uh, and uh, some followers dancing. This is a performing output to outside. And this person is found other guys. And you know, a lot of people come. It means output brings input. And this output should be real voice of a customer. Advertising doesn't work well. 
So you need, you, you need to utilize real customer voice. It means in your committee session, uh, main session should be performed by actual customer. If your committee session, uh, the session will be done by vendors, it's just seminar. Okay? So customer should be the content. And a lot of followers should be tweet that all over the you know, meetup will be the content to the outside. It's very important. Like this, without output, you have some community, but it's not, you know, good marketing vehicle. With output, you can accelerate acquisition to external people. If you'd like to do such kind of you know, things, output is very important. And offline and online cycle is also important. And I strongly recommend start from offline, not from online. Because you know, from offline, it's easy to select first things. Easy to you know, uh, facilitate the movement, the opinion. This is at the first ignition point. Then online area, you know, glue you and fire, make a fire. Then you can do addition, next in you know, the offline event. It's more bigger one. Then online things. It's a kind of cycle, but to start from offline is very important. And uh, Tomoko-san in this morning, uh, she. I think she said uh, the hashtag is very important to connect offline to offline, on, offline to online. It's true. So without Twitter, very difficult to this cycle. The reason why I'm asking be tweet with this hashtag. And uh, if you have your own community, you need to do the same thing. And uh, after they you know tweet and blogs, uh, other people find this community or activity. These guys will come to next time. So this is acquisition cycle. Now, so such kind of item will help your activities, logo and icon, hashtag, and uh, recognition for the you know, organizer or good speaker or contributors. Never pay some you know, money to the activities. If you pay something, the you know, task will be very cheap work. It's a kind of priceless work, so you just give them as some recommendation, but you know, don't pay some you know, money for their activities. And uh, if community is growing, growing, so a lot of people come. Maybe today we have over 100 people, around you know, 130 or 40. It's a kind of you know, maximum for having uh, offline meetup as a community. If you are over 200, 300 people, it will be just seminars, but you'd like to keep close your committee. So you have two dimensions. One is regional one, okay? So here's are Tokyo, so easy to count uh, Tokyo uh, people uh, nearby Tokyo, but sometimes very difficult from Osaka or Hokkaido or Okinawa. So in this case, you can build the same community with the same context in Osaka, Kyushu area, the Okinawa. So such kind of you know, uh, regional expansion is you know, one dimension. Other dimension is contextual things. For example, this is uh, George UG's you know, contextual you know, uh, subsidiaries. Some you know, George subsidiary focus on IoT. Some George uh, subsidiary focus on AI. If you are in you know, a community bigger enough to, you know, have a separate you know, context. Such kind of contextual you know, uh, separation is very important to keep growing the community. This is also important things. Sometimes community marketing misunderstand just a community management. It's really, it looks very similar activities, but you know, objective is very different. So sometimes community management just keep current community and uh, focus on relationship. It's good, but you know, sometimes more important things 
we have for growth community because this is a part of marketing. So if you'd like to do the sales through the you know, community and you need to focus on growth and the number of output and uh, you know self-managed community, you need to focus on marketing side. Just you know managing, just keeping current community is not market, you know community marketing. Now recently, a lot of subscription business has you know, uh, customer success division because you know, onboarding is very important thing for the, this business. And if you, if, you know, uh, this subscription business company also have community marketing, it's a good booster because you know, community need a lot of you know, en enthusiastic fun. Okay? The customer success approach uh, you know, produce a lot of you know, fun continuously. And these funds go to the community and they will have influence for the demand generation and also cross cross sell up things. This is a good you know cycle to you know accelerate your business if you are running subscription business. So actually AWS has same things. Uh, interesting uh, AWS doesn't have the division of uh, customer success. But you know uh, solution architect and you know uh, salesperson actually doing such customer access uh, su customer success things they are focusing on onboarding things because you know without customer business success uh, the fee for the EC2 or you know S3 never grow so they are these you know sales guys and solution architect care about this customer success then these you know uh, successful customer will be a part of uh, Joe's user group. It's a good cycle. And uh, before starting the community marketing, uh, you need fun. Because, you know, without such kind of enthusiastic customer, the enthusiastic fun to your you know, uh, services, very difficult to you know, uh, start. And if you can't find such kind of enthusiastic customer, I strongly recommend you need to improve something. Maybe this is the product things, this is the organization things, this is the brand things. If you don't have fun, it's not time to drive the community marketing. Okay? So, uh, creating a fun is first things. Then you can do the community marketing. And sometimes uh, community marketing is understood as a you know, influencer marketing. But it's a totally different. So, how many people have experience with influencer marketing? This is a kind of old marketing activity. You just purchase number of followers. You can, it's a just, you know, media, you know? And these influencers never create real customer voice because they are purchased, just purchased. You need to find a fan, then fan will be kind of influencer in the community. This is a really key point. Many company misunderstood to purchase, uh, you know, uh, purchase an influencer, but this is an old style. It's not community marketing. Okay, find your first pin in your customer, the fan. It's very important. And this uh, slide explains the step of uh, finding the first pins and you know, when you should uh, create a community. I strongly recommend uh, before creating a community, you need to spend the time to find actual enthusiastic customer. You can meet a lot of people and you can find you know, appropriate first pin guys. And with such kind of you know, first pin guys, you can start community. But you know, after the community kicked off, you may find, oh, this person is not good for the, you know, first pin. Or you can find more, you know, uh, appropriate person for the first pin. You can deselect or, you know, uh, add new guy to the committee. Such kind of cycle is very important. And keep encourage these, you know, first pin guys to drive this committee. Because this is user community. 
It's not you know, your company's community, these guys' community. So without their motivation, this activity will fail very soon. Uh, this is uh, actual activities when I created this community, uh, the jobs. So I visit a lot, not only you know, actual customer, but also you know, any, and a lot of uh, developer community and the business community and bloggers and book authors and find you know, key pers person who are enthusiastic to you know, uh, expand the uh, cloud computing, especially AWS. And uh, I gather these guys and start with the community. This is a step as I explained in the uh, first slide. Of course, developer relation is one of the good way to find your first pin. So the reason why you are the uh, most uh, appropriate person to drive such kind of activities, okay? KPI, it's a very difficult part for the community marketing. After you know, AWS uh, success, so a lot of company understood the community marketing is a powerful marketing vehicle for the business. Still, but uh, still uh, many companies are struggling to do this because sometimes this is very difficult to show actual you know, result. But you can do something, the measurable, measurable things. For example, a uh, ratio of new participants. If your community has same people, same person every time, it's not growing. It's just a you know, small, you know, closed community. It's not a good thing. You need to have such kind of you know, KPI for your community. And uh, the total participants, it's not only offline things, but also online you know, forum or something. Facebook group is okay. So uh, it should be grown and grown. If the number of you know, participants is not grown, something wrong. Number of tweets, social posts, blog, slide share, also key indicator because output is very important for the you know, community marketing. Just gathering people and having a beer and pizza is not community marketing. Not creating a lot of content from this offline meetups. It's quite important to drive the community marketing. Of course, number of meetups and you know, coverage area is good and NPS also good. And uh, good news is such kind of things, almost such kind of things, it's measurable by uh, kind of tools, it's good. This part, sometimes very difficult. The community is driven by people. So uh, kind of you know, enthusiasm, or you know, quality of the you know, community leaders, very key things. But unfortunately, we don't have some indicator or you know, tools to measure such kind of things. Reason why a lot of successful co uh, company has evangelists, like Chinese from Korea, uh, from AWS, and you know, uh, community manager. Such kind of people, they are the good sensor to check such kind of KPIs. It's not measurable, but you know, uh, some talented manager can see these key indicate key things. Okay. Now you know the you know uh, key framework to drive you know drive the community marketing. So let's get a stride. And you can start today. So this is just uh, this is not just a learning session. I really would like to do follow this you know activity. If you'd like to have if you'd like to uh, you know promote your services, your ideas. And uh, this idea the totally free, you can you know use this framework anywhere. But you know, please give me a feedback if you use this you know, framework. And such kind of feedback is uh, makes my you know idea to sh you know uh, better and then I'll share this you know idea you guys next time so please keep doing such kind of uh, feedback loops okay so we have uh, 
five or six minutes. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd like to have you know uh, Q&A session uh, in this area because you know closed Q&A session is not good for sharing the you know, conversation. If you have some you know Q&A, please raise a hand. Nihongo mo okay desu. Boku I'm coming. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have only one mic. Uh, so I was asking, you know, uh, what tools work for the KPI for the major rule things? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, actually, I do very simple, you know, uh, tools, uh, you know, kind of Twitter, you know, uh, some you, you can see that, you know, some third party tool for, you know, number of tweets and some marketing uh, automation tool uh, chase such kind of number. And a uh, lot of, lot of uh, thing, I'm using Excel file <laughs> just to record the number. But you know, uh, recording such kind of actual number is very important and show the graph to the, you know, uh, your boss, your you know, other division. But such kind of, you know, uh, e how can I say, uh, tracking the data and show the you know, data as a graph and you know, trend is very important to get you know, uh, support from internal division. That makes sense? Thank you. Can you more can go there? Okay. ケンシンゴ、今の、このマイクとこうコミュニティが廃れそうなやつで、しかもメジャーメントできないような例えば、いくつかある。はい。そのやばそうなところどうやって察知しますか何を持ってやばそうとするか、ソリー、そのインターチ
And if you find such kind of people, you don't care about incentive. Make sense? <laughs> we can talk more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time has come. Uh, thank you for uh, you know, uh, joining my uh, presentation and uh, give your feedback via Twitter. Thank you. Thank you.